Hello everyone, this is John, Data Science Career Transition Expert. So uh, welcome you all to this episode number three and our Hacker Rank series. In the last two videos, we understood what is this particular Hacker Rank, what is the benefit of it, and how to make use of this Hacker Rank. We have explored this particular Hacker Rank already, right? If you have missed these two videos, please go back quickly and watch it. It is already there in this Hacker Rank playlist here. Right, so today in this episode number three, as I've already promised in the last video that I will be coming here and working with respect to the scripts and I'll be showcasing it uh, over here. But one uh, kind suggestion, do not get into this video before you try solving some problems. What are all the problems? If you watch episode number two, you would have got a clear idea. So that is, let me share my screen here. I've told here to get into this particular prepare by topics under this Python segment. Let me click on this Python segment. Uh, yeah. So here, if you get to see, uh, there are different segments like EC, 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 EC. If you just go like this, definitely in between, there will be like a medium level of uh, difficulty segment. It will come in between, right? So if you scroll down again, you will see in between EC, you will find um, medium level. So this is a kind of mixed problem statement. So in order to avoid that, in the last video itself, I told you. So to go with this, under skill section, click on Python basic and then under difficulty click on EC and then under subdomains click on introduction so that you will have only uh, the problem statement with respect to this filtration so that we will solve this and we will then move to uh, basic stuff under the same segment like Python, EC and then basic data types and there we will solve. I have told you in one day you have to solve at least five different problem statements with whatever it is mentioned. So what we will actually do is we will solve one um, problem statement here in this video and I will keep on posting uh, and I will solve this in front of you. I will keep on posting uh, the different uh, problems and also I will read it explain the problem and I'll script in front of you. So that's what the major plan here, but do not get into this particular script directly. All right. So you have to solve, you have to try solving at least for 15 to 30 minutes. So at least minimum 15 to 30 minutes you need to give because uh, each and every problem, uh, you, need, you need to give uh, training to your mind to think because everything is a logical programming. If you just directly see my program and if you solve it, that is not, that is not something uh, my deliverable care. My goal is not to give you solution directly. So you need to to try at least 15 to 30 if it is not helping or uh, then you can see this as a reference whether your thought process or my thought process is matching or not like that you can like that like that you can just uh, you know have it as a reference all right and also this particular um, python programming you need to have um, intermediate level of python programming skills like you should have solved some for loop if conditions if else uh, you should know about print functions. Uh, you should know to write about different user different functions. You should have got an intermediate level of Python understanding and only then you can solve this particular program. If you do not know about this uh, Python programming, so please I would suggest you to uh, get in touch with our team. So we will train you on the relevant skills to solve this uh, hacker and related problem, problem statement so that you can build a great portfolio. Okay, so now let without any delay, let me uh, solve one by one. So here in this particular Python, if else, problem let me solve it i clicked on solve challenge first here in this particular segment we need to understand what exactly the problem is okay so now here it is written task problem statement given an integer n perform the following that is if n is odd print weird like one three five seven nine any uh, number that is what is the logic behind it if any number if it is not divisible by two then it is odd number one small logic okay we got it and if n is even that is if numbers are divisible by two meaning the remainder should be equal to zero an inclusive range of two to five print not be it okay between n is even that is what are the numbers between two and four if you get two and four then print not be it if n is even inclusive of range six to twenty that is uh meaning what are the numbers six uh eight uh ten and goes on right so then if that's till 20 print weird if n is even greater than 20 print not weird okay great clear problem statement is fine input format a single n containing a positive integer n okay fine constraints 1 to 100 see this output format print weird if the number is weird otherwise print not weird okay sample input a number is given like 3 it is weird because look onto the condition if n is odd print weird that's what it is given okay clear and another here another sample input is equal to 1 24. 24 comes under the last condition that is if n is even and greater than 20 print not weird. So n is even greater than 20 obviously not weird that's what 
here it is given okay now we have clearly understood what is the problem statement here now let's start working on the particular problem statement so now what i'll do let me uh, solve this so i'm just clicking on this problem so that i will get a coding area here itself all right so once you have done it you can click on this run code so what i'll do see a few things it is all automatically uh, it is give hacker rank it is all automatically imported few files so that these files it is required in order to run the script in this particular console so now main this is some main is a class so once it's this python interpreter whenever it sees this main class it will start executing the script this python 3 interpreter okay now what is this uh, this is what it is input we have to give and strip is nothing but what we have already learnt in the python session strip is nothing but leading and trailing white spaces it will be removed and the whole thing it will be converted to an integer why it is given if you scroll down and see test against custom input if you enable this checkbox see some users they will give a number 67 in case if i give a gap trailing space is detected in the custom input so by mistake if any gap like this or if there is uh, any enter key like this since i've just clicked on enter key so definitely or in case if um, there is a uh, you know leading uh, white space error so everything has to be removed so that's what the strip function will do that's why uh, we are we are using the strip function here whatever the input we have to receive it and remove all this white space because whenever you receive some input in this text box or using this input function always it will read as string but we don't need string because we need to take it as an integer that's why integer has been given okay now let me write the logic the logic is if the number if it is uh, divisible by 0 meaning if it is divisible by 2 if it is equal to 0 because this modulo is nothing but what if any number let's say if i'm just uh, getting number 10 if it is divisible by 2 remainder if it is equal to 0 then print that is what it is a even number right let me see let me click on run code this is not click on submit button but click on run code it is processing it will see it will basically see whatever the conditions we have written it is is it satisfying the, all the criteria whatever it is asked so see this it is taking too much time to process and obviously it will give uh, see this sample the wrong answer so expected a weird so anyway it is wrong answer so to run only simple script as it is taking too much of time so what i'll do is i'll just try to write this uh, logic in jupyter notebook so that we can quickly achieve the result so here i'm just open this is a jupyter notebook i think you should be knowing this how to open and everything i'm not getting into this part so python as i said you should have got intermediate python programming knowledge so here i'll say hacker rank hacker rank exercises i'm creating a new folder here so in this a uh, new let me click on python 3 kernel so here let me start working on this getting up so here i'll just try to write uh, maybe here i'll say hacker rank basic python basic okay so here i'll just give the script control v okay this is what in everything okay whatever it is there i just uh, copied it and pasted it here right so let me click on execute this is going to click on execute it will auto it will okay if is indentation error so we should have proper indentation only one times okay if it should come over here and this should come okay. all right now if i am clicking on 6 it is giving even because 6 the remainder of 6 is 0 it is even but what is the question let me read out this question let us keep this aside the question is if n is odd print to be n meaning it should be odd n whatever we have is receiving it should be odd print it is saying it is weird so i'll say i wanted to print weird weird n should be odd right meaning the number it should not be divisible by exclamatory equal to meaning what if a number comes in if it if the remainder if it is not equal to 0 then print weird let me execute it again so now let me click on 5 5 remainder is what the remainder is 1 meaning it is not equal to 0 obviously it will print now oh, it is taking some time because i have not executed it let me restart the card yep let me execute it again okay, it is taking some time yeah print let me give number 
see this it is not printing anything because this condition is not satisfied so let me execute so let me give one out number seven see it is printing here where first condition is satisfied okay n is odd print over here second condition if n is even an inclusive range of two to five okay two condition n is even and inclusive two to five print not be n and another condition okay so if because one condition is done there is another condition if a number comes in and if this particular n if it is if the remainder if the remainder if it is equal to zero and one more condition is what if n if it is in the range of two to five so i'll say n two less than or equal to will uh, n less than or equal to five and if, if it is in the range and as since it is a two condition i'll just take it inside bracket okay i'll say print what says it is saying uh not weird two to five not weird okay let me print not weird. let me execute and see now okay let me give an even number four definitely this condition will not satisfy so it will come into this loop four divisible by two the remainder is zero and it's between two to five right so it's saying it is not weird okay great now what is the next condition n is even inclusive of six to twenty okay the same condition let me copy this if the number is coming in control c control v so it is between 6 to 20 we have to print what if it is between 6 to 20 print weird so let me click on weird okay and last condition let me also execute it n is even greater than 20 okay n is even meaning last condition lf or last last condition right only we can put else or you can so put L, L, LF also else. What is it if N is even? Equal to zero. Reminder if it is equal to even and greater than 20. Greater than 20 meaning same thing. And uh, N here I'll say greater than greater than 20, starting from 20. So as this is also one condition. So I'll take it in one bracket, one parenthesis basically. Call it print not weird, right? So what is it? Not weird. So I'll just use not weird. Okay. Now let me execute it. Oh. That is giving me error. So let me remove this. I think it is the oh, else. I'll just put else if LF let me put same condition. Yeah, let me execute it. Yeah. So now let me give an n number, like uh, an odd number. Let me give it. Odd number is 25. So what it should come? This should execute, right? Weird. Because any odd number, the remainder, it, sorry, the what it we should put? Weird. So let me see whether weird is printing. Yes, correct. Done. Let me check second condition 2 to 5. So let me say 5. Anyway, that is odd category. Let me say 4. What it should print? So even and 2 to 4, it should print not weird. You see? They're not weird. Third condition, even 6 to 20. Let me say 18. Should print weird. And greater than 20. Greater than 20, maybe uh, even greater than 22. Not weird. Perfect. So we have got the script ready. Let me copy and come back to this. And let me maybe remove everything. Or maybe this only this line. Let me paste it. I make sure proper indentation is indentation has to be followed. Is everything come need to come inside? Yeah. So now let me click on run code and wait for a while. I think it should see this one processing itself. It is taking so much of time. So that's why I just um, put it in uh, Jupyter notebook so that we quickly reach the result. So this practice also you can follow. Let us wait. And if you are good, we will get, oh, great. Congratulations. You have passed the sample test. Click the submit button to run your code. See this, this uh, input randomly took some input like three. Okay. Even when you're just clicking on run code again, I think uh, again, it will take number three itself. Let me see. Because 
any number any number we have to receive it right so this processing it is taking some number if it is 3 okay but i would like to see some different number are we getting any different number see this but sample input is always taking 3 3 is odd number so always for odd it will print always for odd it will print weird right so here that's why here we are having a test box sorry check box here i'll print some number like 23 even you can give some spaces also okay now let me click on run code see this this is anyway it is an odd number right any odd number it should print what it should print obviously weird now later i'll change it to some 24 great the last case n is even and greater than 20 that category i'll try it we'll see yeah so output compilation is successful wonderful now let me change it to 24 one code see one one code it is taking this much time so that's why good to have hacker rank uh, as a you know backup sorry a jupyter notebook as a uh, id you can script it there quickly you can copy and paste the script so that it will be good for you so now it is processing it should say not weird wonderful so this is the last condition not weird now you can click on submit code see this it is uh, it is starting test case like test case zero first second three four five in all test cases it is trying to check internally now even you don't need to check manually over here one by one here itself it is checking and it says all test cases passed wonderful and if you just wait for a while you will get a message like congratulations move to the next challenge let us wait for a while in some way you will get it here yeah see this you earned 10 points you are now 20 points away from the first star for your python batch okay next challenge let me click on it okay so this is your next challenge where i'll post it in the next video okay but here just go back uh, go back to your uh, introduction part or to your uh, i just clicked on this introduction see this this part oh click on python basic uh, easy introduction here it says python if else is solved okay if else is solved and just go back click on this go back to your uh, profile click on this profile and if you scroll down see this here you have gained one yellow color light one item june 1 we have submitted so starting from june 1 2023 we are going to work every day one so that whenever you are working we will get see if you make one submission you will get this light color green color light so if you make it every day submissions you will get every uh, yellow color lights and whenever if you copy this and if you, if you send it to any um, hiring managers when they see this okay they will get an understanding okay he is very much interested towards coding interested in developing something that's what the impression that you are giving to the hiring managers so let's do that okay so i hope uh, this video was so much helpful for you in working with we started with problem statement one that is a uh, python basic easy uh, introduction part we solved python if else uh, or we can say nested if else uh, um, problem statement in the next video we will solve another problem statement for that you need to wait for one day we will post every day one video okay so um, thank you so much for watching in case if you would like to have in-depth python programming knowledge so feel free to reach out to us so we will train you accordingly in such a way that to solve any kind of python um, programming uh, knowledge that you need to have to work as a data scientist in any companies all right thank you so much uh, we'll meet you in the next video Bye bye